In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah the Almighty, the Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace, mercy, and blessings be upon His final and last messenger, Muhammad. And may Allah's peace, mercy, and blessings be upon each and every one of you, dear viewers watching this episode of your program, The Revelation. In today's episode, we will be highlighting and underscoring a very important outcome or if you like a fruit that we can reap and attain out of the tentative experience of fasting and that's our ability to achieve to get things done and also the sense of accomplishment and this is when we approach sunset and also with the first sip of water or with the first bite of dates or milk or whatever we are going to break our fasting with and that's this sense of accomplishment the sense that yes I did it and this is why the Prophet also directed our attention to this very important and subtle meaning as the Prophet وسلم, is authentically narrated to have said every fasting per person experiences or goes through two moments of happiness and joy the first of them as they break their fasting and the second is when the fasting person meets his Lord in the hereafter. Here we are going to be focusing on the first of these two moments of happiness. And just as I said, because we are able to feel and to be overwhelmed by the sense that, yes, we did and we were able to fast and hopefully our fasting will be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we shall attain the reward of the fasting after enduring all of these hours without drinking and without eating and of course maintaining all of the ethics and the etiquettes of fasting that every Muslim is recommended and highly encouraged to observe as they are fasting and this is a very important point because we do really need to emphasize this feeling and this experience that yes we can do it we can move forward we can achieve our goals that we can set a goal and go for it and be able to achieve it because we always listen and see many people always complaining that they cannot actually go on to achieve their goals and sometimes some of them say that oh, success is, is only meant for people uh, who attained uh, very high education at very uh, accredited or very high uh, institutions of learning and or that uh, to be successful I need to have a big amount of money other than that I'm not going to be able to achieve anything and this is not the case and this is what we really need to gain out of this experience of fasting that we are all the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's we all share the amount of time which is the 24 hours per day that every human being has and a very important notion and a lesson to live by or a principle and a maxim that we need to internalize and become part of our attitude and that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most just and the most noble the most noble never lets the work of a hard worker go in vain Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly states in the Quran Hal Jaza'u al-Ihsani Hal Jaza'u al-Ihsani Illa al-Ihsan In the name of Allah, the merciful, the compassionate. 
Is there any reward for but God? My dear viewers, we need to view every day that we spend in our lives as a new page in the book that each and every one of us is writing and authoring. Yes, we are the writers with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of our own books. And we need to view each and every day as a great opportunity to add up a new page of achievements, of accomplishments, and of achieving and actualizing steps, practical and physical steps, that moves us forward to our goals and to our objectives on the longer term and also on the short on the short and on the longer one and this is why also we need to focus on a very important number of points and the first of them is to always focus on the fact that real success is not about exceeding others or surpassing others but it's about exceeding yourself Always remember that you are in a competition with yourself and that you are always looking forward to become a better person than the one that you were yesterday. This is how we need to, uh, to understand accomplishment and success, not to be jealous of others and especially when it comes to materialistic things because this is not the criterion. Our worth is not, as human beings, is not determined as we, as, we, as we talked about this before, it's not about how much we have, but it's about how well we are able to give. We always need to focus on working ourselves and developing more positive habits in order to be able to move forward. <laughs> It's also very important to remember that what we really need to focus on is always maintaining this genuine feeling that we have noble aims, we have noble objectives to live for, that we are in this world for a great mission and not merely to be self-centered. Yes, of course, we need to care about ourselves on the financial aspect and also on the physical aspect, but this does not mean that this should be at the cost of others, but we always need to focus on cooperating with others. Another important thing, he, thing here that I'd like to uh, focus on is always to seek the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this is the most effective means how we can move forward and this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Noble Quran that's and seek help through the means of patience and also maintaining and establishing the prayers. Another important thing is to always protect ourselves against distraction and confusion and that's by having clear and definite goals and as I said to have ones on the short term and also on the medium term and also on the long term and of course our ultimate objective is to be seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to be in the company in the hereafter of our noble Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him in the highest rank of paradise. <laughs> Also,
also it's very important to always keep with you a short notebook or today using our smartphones to write down and to type any important or any effective thought that would occur to us because we need to write this down to save it and to keep it so that we can build on it and also we can bring it into action and to take action regarding this very important thought. Also, it's very important, dear viewers, here in uh, this regard to have a very important thing in mind, and that's after we have already determined and defined our goals, we need to utilize the productivity of the six WH questions. This is why we need to provide clear answers when it comes to our goals as to why, also how, when, who, and where. These are also important game changers and also benchmarks to help us save time and be able to more effectively and more productively and more wisely achieve our goals. And also this goes along with consulting and seeking the advice of trustworthy people and also people with experience and wisdom because again this can help us save a lot of time in order to be able to achieve our goals effectively. Also it's very important to make sure that as we are going on in life we are always develop developing and cultivating positive habits because this is also important especially in the life in the age of information that we are living in we need to develop more habits and also especially when it comes to learning and also coping with the technologies and the demands of our age Finally, dear viewers, we need to remember, to remember that caring, patience, perseverance, and always having a clear mission and vision is a very important thing to be kept in mind as we are going through in our lives to achieve our goals. That's it for today's episode. And always remember, never wait for anyone to enter your life, to make it special. But you, do jihad, do your best to be the one who when enters people's lives, turn them magical and special. That's it for today's episode. I leave you in the care of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reminding you that you can watch this episode and the previous ones on the official Facebook page that you can see on the screen and also the rest of the social media. That's it for today. Assalamu alaikum. ورحمة الله وبركاته